creativity for me is the the act of imagining of using the imagination to visualize what what is possible um, to challenge one's um, inner being to make something new out of what you've experienced out of what you've thought out of what you've felt um, out of what you out of what you know um, to in a sense to transform the world uh, through your own imagination. The creativity is, in its simplest form, is making something new. Well, I believe you, you have to encourage people to use their, their right brain, uh, the, the section of their mind that uh, allows you to think in new ways, allows you to intuit allows you to imagine. Um, that's one of the reasons why I've become so deeply involved in the whole issue of, of arts in education. Um, I don't necessarily mean learning how to play the flute or learning how to write a novel. Uh, you can do those things and they're important things. But um, what I mean in terms of arts in education is using the arts as a way to solve problems, as a way to expand your understanding of the world as a way to learn other things uh, through the through the right brain, and it seems to me that we've we've done a wonderful job of developing the left brain, and we've turned out of generation after generation of, of very able managers, people who can manage and, and and organize and plan. What we haven't done is turn out the kind of people who can really use their imagination, their intuition, their sense of wonder, their sense of possibility to uh, change the world in new ways. And, and when we look at the way the world is changing, that we're moving from a, a resource economy to an imagination economy, an economy that's based not on extracted wealth, although that'll carry on, but much more on, um, on um, intangible wealth, the wealth of the mind, uh, the wealth of the, uh, of, of the electronic facilitation of the mind, then I think we have to be able to turn out people who, young people who can think in, in new ways, who can imagine, who, who have the, the freedom to um, use their intuition, to, to bridge that, that gap between the, the real and the possible. And that's what, to my mind, education in creativity does. Which is why, as I say, I've been pushing so hard to, to restore uh, the arts to the, the arts and cultural activity, creative activity, to the centre of the, the educational curriculum. I've talked about this question of, of, of creative process with, with any number of artists because I've always, I've had the same curios curiosity about where creativity comes from. Um, and as a writer, as a, as a, I consider myself an artist myself, as a writer I try to analyse it in my own work. I, I just can't. Um, I'm, I sit down at, a, at, a, at my computer, uh, or with a piece of paper, and I will write down um, whatever I'm thinking about. I'll, 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 be, I'll be writing a scene, for instance, for a, 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 a book. I'll be writing a chapter of a book, and it just comes. Um, I can't tell you why. I know that I know that it comes from everything I've experienced because I can recognize um, f phrasing, I can recognize the rhythm of phrases, I can recognize language that I use as a reference to something else, I can recognize all of that. I know that where those influences come from some, some of the time. Um, but why they come in that order, uh, maybe it's the coffee I had that morning, you know? maybe it's the, uh, the, the barometric pressure. Uh, I think there's all kinds of physical things that affect your brain. Um, so that uh, some of it's electrical, I'm sure, uh, and synapses fire in different ways. But ultimately it's a mystery. Uh, I mean, and different artists will tell you they function in different ways, but I've not yet, not yet found anyone who can tell me how they create in a satisfactory manner. Any more than I could tell you. Um, I just know that, that it, when it comes, and when it's running, it's the most joyous thing in the world. And then you look at, at the end of it, you think, wow, and then you go back and you can jiggle and play, which I do a lot with, with the writing that I'm doing. Uh, but that first flush of, of, of imagination. And I think we're, we all have that 
joyousness in, in, in creativity in, in, in our own ways. I mean, I don't mean everyone writes a book or writes a piece of music, but um, whatever they do that is creative, you know, an engineer can have the same, this, have, have purely a mathematician particularly, can have the same joy and, and achieve a sense of beauty. Um, people working in computers, I know, talk about the beautiful things that they can unlock through digital or, or, or other manipulation, through the formula. Mathematicians find beauty in the formulas they put together. Uh, and I think whatever is creative, and what, when one being creative and feeling a sense of it, the, the fluids running, the, the, the rush of, of, of imagination at work, I think it, it's, it's, a, it's a joy that is something that you can't measure or really describe.